Hey guys, welcome back once again. In today's session, we're going to discuss about the MSAT Achieve Math Test, a part of algebra, the chapter number 12, logarithms. We're going to see the most important type of questions, what you can expect on MSAT Achieve Math. I have already uploaded the videos on the different topics. You can refer to the link given in the description box to go through this. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do like, share and subscribe so that whenever I upload a new video related to it, you will be notified. So let's get started with the chapter number 12, logarithms. Chapter number 12, logarithms. So let me remind you that most of the formulas related with the logarithms will be given to you in the data sheet. And there are some questions which can solve directly without using any of the rules. So we can use a calculator, type that equations or the expression as it is, you'll get the answers. We're going to see varieties of questions, how you can use the calculator and you can also apply the logarithmic formulas given in the data sheet. So let's start with the question number one here. It says, what is the value of x if negative 8 plus log x plus 4 to the base 5 equal to negative 6? Whenever a question comes about what is the value of x, find x, solve x, or it could be like related with the logarithms or the natural logarithm that is ln or e to the power x something, straightforward, take help of calculator. So, of course, you can also apply the rule of logarithm, but I prefer to do with the calculator as calculators are allowed. So how do we going to do this? I just need to type this equation as it is and we have to follow the same approach what we used to do previously that is shift calc equal. At the end, you'll be getting the value of x. So let's do that. So how it going to be? So type that equation as it is. It says negative x plus log so we have two logarithmic uh, options on the calculator, okay? So this is the one where you cannot put the basis. It is assumed that base is 10. And there is an another option we have where I can put the base accordingly. So another button, we have to use it this. So we have an option to put a base. So base here is going to be 5 in the bracket. What we have? X plus 4. So that is how you type and come out of that equal to alpha calc is for the equal type it as negative 6 so when you done once you done with this what is going to be you have to press the three magical buttons on the calculator that is shift calc and equal so when you put uh, press it on this so you'll be getting the value of x so here we got it as x is equal to 21 so what is the value of x x equals to 21 here so regardless with whether it is a log lin or any other relevant functions like e to the power x and so on use a calculator in this way question number two here says if log x by y plus log y by x is equals to log x plus y then which of the following is equivalent to that is the type of question so how do we do this here i can't take help of calculator because calculator can't help me calculator gives me only answer in terms of numbers but we have a variables x and y so we have to apply the certain rules so let me remind, these are the rules will be given on the data sheet. So that rule says log a, b, you know, log a, b, a times b, by the way, is equal to log a plus log b. I can write it in this way. And whenever we have log, we can say here a by b can be written as log a minus log b. So I can apply that rule. So let's take log a to the power x to the base b. So here I'm not writing basis. So you can also write the base here. So it, it goes the same. So base has a small b if I'm taking it as that works in the same way. So log a to the power x to the base b can be written as x log a to the base b. So whatever the power, we just need to bring it in front. So these are the rules which will be provided us. But when we say the rules, we are writing in way like log a plus b, but they might also expect a question in the opposite way, you know. So we have to apply in a reverse way that logarithmic rule and we have to answer it accordingly. And also there is an important rule now. So log, let's take for example, a to the base b equal to log, let's take b to the base b for example. 
as we have log a to the base b equal to log b to the base b when the log to the base b and the log to the base b is common on either side i must say that a equals to b this is basically the another rule what we follow so the same to same thing we're going to apply here now look at to this expression now log x by y plus log y by x is equals to log x plus y then how you can write this plus in between you can write them as a together as log x by y times you know log, like y by x you know that is we can write that is equals to so log x plus y why i am saying because i am applying this rule they have given me in this way and i am rewriting in terms of multiplying them so why i am doing so because i can compare as per the like you know log of something to the same base equal to log of something to the same base i can equate them to apply this rule i am writing in this now let's simplify this what happens x and x gets cancel out y and y get cancel out it left with the one so i can say it as log 1 is equals to log x plus y so when i am saying that whatever the number here must be equal to x plus y so therefore we say x plus y equal to 1 that goes with option b so this is how you can apply the rule and you can get done, get it done with the what they are asking us to do question number 3 here is solve for x this is also very similar to the what we did previously if you look at to the given expression it seems to be very weird and it seems like you know we don't understand at the beginning what we supposed to do but if you go by step by step carefully so it seems to be very easy okay so we can apply the whatever the formula has been given if you go it like step by step one by one that everything turns to be like an easy and by having the few steps you will able to predict what would be the answer so let's start it so question asking us solve for x log x to the base b equal to the weird thing which has been given to us what i can do here i have to bring this entire expression in the something way that like you know the log to the base of something now whatever the something equal to here that it's equal to the x because x and this one can be compared that is what we learned previously by the rule so log something to the base b equal to the log another value to the base b those two values can be equated the same thing i am going to do here so now how do we simplify it as we already know that if there is a negative in between so we write it as a division form and it is a plus in between we write them as a multiplication and if there is any number written in front i have to take it as a power by the way whatever the rule has been given to us actually we are applying those rule in a reverse way so now let me simplify this entire expression how do i can rewrite this whatever the number given in front i can take it as a power then this let me write it here okay so that will be kim a uh, log a uh, p to the power 3 to the base b minus and here whatever is there in the bracket whenever there is a plus sign in between we can put them together as a multiplication before that i can also take the power as here so which can be written as log t square to the base b plus log r to the power half to the base b so let me tell you something any number to the power half can also be written as radical okay that is basically you know, square root of r can also be written as a r to the power fractional so how do we modify this further any term so let me uh, write it as any term having plus or minus in between i can make them as a multiply or divide as per the rule so let me rewrite this expression as let me keep this first term as it is you can do all together okay doesn't matter i'm just going more detail with a step by step uh, log p3 to the base b minus this positive i can combine together as a multiplication and that turns into log t square to square root of r to the base b so why i'm just doing like plus sign in between we should multiply them and if there is a minus sign in between we write it in a division form so this equation will be rewritten as log base b the numerator becomes p cube and denominator becomes t square square root of r so now this entire thing has been simplified as this so now what expression we have 
log x to the base b equal to i can say log p cube divided by t square square root of r to the base p and whenever we have log to the base b like whenever we have this term as the same log to the base b and the log to the base b any basis okay is same and i must say this value is equal to this that's what i was showing here so x should be equal to something which is what i get it in a bracket so finally i say x equal to p cube divided by t square square root of r and that is matching with option c that's it for today please do like share and subscribe to my channel and also forward to the friends who are preparing for the msat so whatever the course content i am giving here these are all specific related to the msat achieve math test all right see you guys soon in the next video thank you so much